Assalamu alaikum to all the students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine, fit and healthy. We are back with English subject for class 6th. Today you are going to learn grammar from the grammar gate unit 2 pronouns. Pronouns as the word suggest pronouns. Let us understand first the meaning of noun. Noun means the name of place, person, animal and thing. Now, pronoun means a word that is used to replace a noun is called pronoun. Now, whenever the noun comes and instead of the name of place, person, animal, thing, we use another word, we replace it with different word, that word is called pronouns. Let us understand this with an example. I know Ramesh well. Here Ramesh is a noun. I know Ramesh well. Now instead of Ramesh, the next sentence, I know him well. Here instead of Ramesh, we used a different word that is him. So him is called pronoun and Ramesh is called noun. Today you will study different types of pronouns. Let us understand how many types of pronouns are there. Basically, there are several types of pronouns. They are personal pronoun, relative pronoun, possessive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, interrogative pronoun, empathic pronoun, quantity pronoun. You will study in class 6 these 7 times types of pronouns. Today, you will study number 1 first type of pronoun that is personal pronoun in detail. Personal pronouns are divided into first, second and third person. As you can see in the picture, first person is the one who speaks that is the first person refers to the speaker or speakers. For example, when we begin the sentence with I or we then the person speaking the statement is called first person. Now the second person, as you can see in the picture, the second one is you. When the second person speaks or refers to the person or people spoken to, we use the word you. For third person, we use words like he, she, it, they. So the third person refers to the person or thing spoken about. So the words like I, you, he, they, them are called personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. In the grammatical sense, a personal pronoun is a pronoun that is related mainly to a particular person. Personal pronouns are not limited to people and can also refer to animals and objects. Here you will study subject pronouns and object pronouns. Whenever the pronouns used in place of subjects, then they are called subject pronouns. Such as I, you, we, he, she, it and they. Now the pronouns which are used in place of objects, they are called object pronouns. Such as me, you, us, him, her, it, them. Now you will study singular pronouns, singular and plural. Singular first person, for subject pronouns we use I, for object pronouns we use B. For singular second person, for subject as well as object we use you. For singular third person, Subject pronouns he, she, it are being used and for object pronouns him, her and it. For plural first person, subject pronouns we is being used and for object pronouns us. For plural second person, for subject pronouns we use you as well as for object pronouns we use you only. For plural third person, for subject pronouns we use they, for object pronoun them. You can understand this table very easily using the certain rules. Let us understand these with examples. 
we use subject pronouns as subjects before nouns now as we have seen what are subject pronouns and what are object pronouns now you will understand that we use subject pronouns as subjects only before nouns let us understand this with an example i helped eric but he didn't help me your i is used in place of a name so i is a pronoun it is used in place of subject and it is subject pronoun helped is a verb eric is a noun so here the rule says we use subject pronouns as subjects before nouns so i is being used before noun eric but he didn't help me again he is used in place of eric so again by not taking the name of eric again he is used for eric so it is subject pronoun again he is mr singh mr singh is a noun and he is a subject pronoun as he said subject pronouns are used before nouns he likes me but i don't like him so here he likes me me is place for object and for object we use me so it is object pronoun but i don't like him so again him is a object pronoun she smiled at me so we use object pronouns after prepositions here she is a subject pronoun smiled is a verb at is a preposition and me is an object pronoun so here we have highlighted only me to identify the object pronouns which is used after preposition at i am older than him so the subject pronouns the object pronouns can be used after then and as in comparisons so your subject object pronoun is used then after then that is him so object pronouns can be used after then and as in comparisons your i am older than him so after then object pronouns is used similarly she is as tall as me so again as is used so after as when pronoun is used it is called object pronoun let us understand personal pronouns with this exercise exercise a is on your page number 22 i request you to fill the answers correctly question a says fill in the blanks with suitable personal pronouns who is that man do you know dash who is that man so your for man we use the object pronoun him so your answer is him i saw him but he didn't see me so your me is your answer me is an object pronoun jia is in trouble can you help her so for jia we used her in place of a noun we use a pronoun can you help her so her is an object pronoun mr williams was ill so he didn't attend the meeting so for mr william we use the word he that is we use a word that replaces a noun that is a pronoun so he is used in place of subject so it is a subject pronoun who has made these sandwiches they taste very delicious so for sandwiches sandwiches is a noun name of a thing and for that we use the word they it is plural so they is an subject pronoun this story is very amusing have you read it so here it is an object pronoun similar we have one more exercise on page number 22 which will be your homework question b says choose the correct word from the brackets to complete the sentences you have six sentences in your textbook you have two options for each question so you need to read the sentence very carefully and place one pronoun at the end using the brackets given to you so this is your homework for today we'll discuss the answer of these exercise in our next video 
Till that, keep speaking in English at home and learning English at home.